I have been researching this watch and I have more information for you. Okay, starting over here, that appears to be a millimeter ruler of no use. It is a zinc metal case with electroplating. It has this analog digital watch, then there is a separate analog digital watch that's 24 hour, and then there is a quartz digital watch. The upper one is they actually, this and this, those two, okay, like that one there, that is a Seiko SII Epson. And the other one is a lower grade Seiko. Those are Seiko movements in there. Not high end, but they're Seiko, so they're very reliable. And that is a quartz digital watch down there. Now, it's an interesting point that because these are three completely different watches, they don't keep time exactly the same. You might have a little discrepancy over time between these two, or that one and that one. So you do have that issue. Not that it would be huge difference, but a little. Let's take a look at that 24 hour one down here. Okay. 24 hour watch. So you can set that to a time zone. Then you come up here, set this to a time zone, and come over and set this to a time zone. So you could, you know, if you live in the United States and Canada and also travel to Europe, you could set it up so you've got the time and everywhere you want to go. Uh, let's take a look at some of those color combinations. By the way, another important factoid. Uh, let's take a look at some other pictures while we're here. That's a nice combination. That's the rose gold. It has blue when you press the button for the light, of course, on the digital. Not bad, not bad. Oh, by the way, let's go back, $22.99, including shipping from AliExpress on Scheme A Watch Store, model 1391. Okie dokie, come on down here. Now, <clears throat> see this crystal? It's a mineral crystal. That, apparently, it's not plastic. It's a mineral crystal. You gotta be kidding me. A mineral crystal that's that large and a watch this inexpensive? I mean, you have got to be kidding me. Unreal. That is a monster watch, though, is it not? Now, you wanna know some of the specs? Let's go look at them here again. It's about 50 millimeters wide, actually 50 point something. It's 15 millimeters thick. Mm -hmm. It's got three wrist watches. It, it is unusual. I would have expected a cheap plastic, crystal, acrylic, but apparently that's mineral crystal. Unbelievable. That means it would really probably not scratch too easily, or if it does scratch very, very lightly. Of course, you can polish out scratches, as you know. If you have compounds that are used for glass polishing and patience, that's a nice looking watch. That's a nice looking watch. And that is probably, I think, my choice after thinking about it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Very nice indeed. Let's go look at all the color combinations. Okay. Rose gold.
tan leather, rose gold black leather. We'll call that true gold brown leather, true gold black. Now those numbers on this one, those are black numbers. So are those. Everything here is a black number, but the face background does change from a rosish to a gold, more of a gold. Then we go into the silvers. That's a nice looking watch. They're all nice looking watches, I think. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I measured on my wrist. There's a funky watch. Isn't that wild? That's an Italian leather band in red on a customized Casio that I reshaped. <laughs> this is a weird watch, but I kind of dig the look. Um, gosh, am I open to weird watches? Yeah. Um, why would a watch like this be something that someone might seriously consider? I mean, it... It really is weird, truly weird. It is massive, gigantic. I have no use really for three different watches, but I would like to have, I guess, you know, the day and the date. That's nice on the digital. And at night, uh, by the way, that one on the top, the watch on the top does have loom. So that one on the top has loom. On the hand and see them at night a little bit. How long the loom lasts, I don't know. But if this were a piece of junk, it would not have Seiko movements. It's got two on the analog watches. The digital is a Chinese. But the other ones are pretty recognized, what are called Epson um, SII Seiko movements. It's with a mineral crystal. And a body that's metal, it's not a junk watch. I mean, I mean this is a joke, kind of. But my theory is that the Chinese people are told so much, like where you can live, a lot of times what kind of stuff you can buy, what you're going to do, how many people you can get married to was something they controlled in the past. I don't think it's still just one per couple. But they got a lot of controls on them. But when it comes to watches, they're wild. What Whatever funky weird stuff's going on inside the Chinese persona is coming out in these weird scheme, scheme watches. I respect this watch. Because they didn't copy something. This is not a knockoff. This is a weird thing that Schema came up with. And if you get to know the Schema watches a little better, I'll show you another one. One of my favorite watches. That one. Let's see here. This leather band, gold watch, just bulletproof. You can get a, a, a silver one for like ten, eleven dollars on AliExpress. Can't beat it. But Schema watches are unique, they're reliable, they're well made, and they're just dirt cheap. But this is not a junky watch. Yeah, I think it's a credible watch. For $22.99, it might not be a bad move just to have the weirdest watch on the block. Um, I've looked at a lot of Schema watches. I would say I think they may be the most interesting grouping of watches out there in that genre of watch. Now, 
Scheme A, by the way, has some other watches which are kind of normal. We can go to the Scheme A watch store. I mean, while we're doing this, why don't we look at some other watches? You'll enjoy that. Okay, there's that one. That's kind of a cool watch for $12.92. Don't you think? With a digital and an analog readout? Jeepers. I mean, that ain't half bad, ladies and gentlemen. I kid you not. It's really not. For that money and free shipping. And then look at those. Those are some oversized digitals for $10.75. And look, some of them have kind of a dark pearlescent background with black. And then others would be uh, with a light readout. That's a, a Milanese band, which is woven stainless. And you get that funky shine out color. Uh, we've got a, a, a black one. We've got rose gold for, you know, pretty darn cheap, pretty darn cheap. And let's come back to the store again. I'm just trying to show you some other Scheme A watches. That's not bad. And I think personally, that's a nice looking watch. And it's only $13.76. That's an attractive digital. Numbers on the bottom. There's another scheme A. That's nice looking. Then you get into these ones, which are their kind of like, I don't know, hunky plastic dive style watches. That's cool. I don't know. That's weird for a kid. Um, that's kind of funky for 20 uh, we're back to that oversized. There's duplicates here. You can see I'm looking actually right now. Now, this is interesting. They have these dive style watches coming in at 1724 or less. Um, really, you know, when you when you start looking at the, the Schema watches, you've got a lot of interesting stuff at very, very low cost. I think, you know, if you want a woman's watch, somebody wants a women's watch, they've got some very, in, that's a nice looking watch for $18. I mean, geez, you know, that's not a lot of money to put in. And that's not a bad watch just for one of those little plastic things. Um, let's come up here since we're just kind of rambling around like a drunk sailor. Okay, this is that grouping, a whole bunch of them, of these dive style watches. Well, I'm going to tell you what, for $22.34, that's so cheap, so inexpensive for you know, a decent looking dive style watch. I mean, they're not a high pricey watch or anything, but they look cool on your wrist and run, you know? And uh, you get it without a box and you're looking at about 22 bucks. And then you get the same watch with a box like that one and you're gonna be up at 27.79. You gotta watch that because uh, on stuff out of China a lot, you will see those two options. It comes in a kind of a bubble wrap little baggy thing if you don't get that. But And it even has, look at that, it's got the, um, you know, the uh, enlarging little window on the crystal. I think that for the money, for the money, I, I just don't think you can beat it the money. Now there is one other watch I kind of wanted to show you. Let's see if I can find it. Um, I'm looking. Here's my wish list. Maybe we'll get lucky. It's actually a true dive watch by Scheme. I hope I've still got it in here. Uh, a lot of these are wind watches, by the way. Do, 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 do. I'll tell you what I could do. I know I have it 
as a video. So let's just go straight into my videos. And we'll do that. Okay, I'm on a style, style Casio, real dive. There we go. That's a watch of interest. It's an actual dive watch from... You know, it's a true dive watch for 41 bucks. I mean, it will go to deep water. It's a really, it is a real, oh, I'm sorry, that was a Casio. That wasn't a Schema. Let's see if we can find a, I thought I had a Schema that would do that too. Maybe not, maybe not. Let's take a look here, Schema. I thought I had a real Schema. I guess it wasn't really a Schema, it was a Casio. Oh, well, unless I've already, no, I don't think so. I thought that Ski made a real dive watch. Hmm. But anyhow, um, I'm just saying that uh, I think that big fat watch is intriguing. It might be fun. I wouldn't have to provide very much fun for 22 bucks.